Here are the requirements for us to be able to use LibreLeck on our Raspberry Pi 3B+. Please read and understand. First, we need to download the LibreLeck image for our Raspberry Pi model. In my case, it is for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. You also need to download the LibreLeck USB SD creator. Using this, we need to burn the image to a 2GB or higher microSD card. As you can see, the image was successfully burned to our microSD card. We now need to plug that microSD card to our Raspberry Pi. This is my DIY Raspberry Pi casing and power supply. The first boot of LibreLeck may take a while. And this is the LibreLeck code. You need to set up the first time wizard. Connect it to your home Wi-Fi. You can also turn on its services like SSH or Samba. If you are not sure on what it is, then skip it for now. Trying the LibreLeck on my LED TV. You need an HDMI compatible TV for your Raspberry Pi. If you are using the Raspberry Pi 4, then you will need the micro HDMI to standard HDMI connector. This is the settings of the LibreLeck Code. Explore if you want to know more, but I would recommend to read the wiki or FAQ on their website. This is the Wi Fi connection of LibreLeck. It will be connected to your Wi Fi automatically. The system information connected to our Wi Fi. We will now add video files. My files are stored on the network attached storage. That is why I use the lower size micro SD. For example, we will add a new Samba or Windows Share folder. The example is 10.3.2.1, that's the IP address. Folder path is media and username and password. After that, you can now watch your video without even storing it on your microSD card.
You can also use your TV's remote to control Kodi. If you encounter problem with the resolution, you can just adjust the overscan settings on the settings, system, and video calibration. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.